Hello everyone, how are you? I'm Harshwadhan. Welcome to another vlog. And this is a very beautiful morning. You can see it's a sunrise time and there is a beautiful sun out there. I hope you can see that. See, this is my pet. This is basically a street pet, but she loves all of us. So she shows lots of love to us. So we love it. And that's my son, you can see. Hello. Samal. And she's going to Samal. So in this vlog, I'm going to show you how you can create basically a time lapse in Premiere Pro. Yesterday I shot the time lapse and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit that time lapse in Premiere Pro. Basically, uh, there are different techniques of uh, creating the time lapse. So what people do, they just shoot a longer video and then they speed up that video. And the end result is not, not flattering at all. So that's not the perfect way or that's not the correct way of creating the time lapse. So the right way to create an amazing time lapse is to have some still images. Shoot some still images and combine them in a video editing software like Premiere Pro. In this video we are going to learn how we can just combine them and create an amazing time lapse which have a lots of cool motions and it would not be a simple time lapse but it would be an amazing time lapse so let's start and learn how we can create an amazing time lapse in premiere pro if you know any different way or an better way to create a time lapse do let me know in the comment section below and before we go any further if you have not subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing and if you have not followed me on instagram and facebook do follow me my all the social media links are in the description as well as on your screen right now so without further ado let's get started in order to create the time lapse just go to the project panel and right click and select the import and then browse the images which you have shot for the time lapse and just select the first image which you have shot for this sequence so make sure you select the first image and then make sure you select the image sequence that's important otherwise it's not going to import all the images and thereafter press the open and then it's going to import the entire image sequence as a one sequence you can see so this is the time lapse either you can right click and select create a new sequence from the clip and that's going to create a new sequence from the clip and you can just play this and this is the time lapse you can easily create the time lapse otherwise you can come over here on a new item and select a sequence if you want to have a customized sequence and from this digital slr preset just select the 1080 25 frame per second or 30 frame per second as you decided before shooting the sequence for the time lapse so if you have short images according to the 30 frame per second you can see like this one otherwise you can go for 25 frame per second frame per second and just you can rename it time lapse and you can press ok and thereafter you can just click and drag this right over here and it's going to show you some warning because the image size are different image ratio is different and the sequence size is different so just keep the existing setting because you don't want to change the sequence all right so now you will see this one so this is the time lapse and if you want to adjust its scale and position you can just adjust this this way so maybe something like this i'll just keep it something like this and you can press the play so that's the sequence which has been created very easily so this is how you can create the time lapse in premiere pro very easily using the multiple images So now let me show you how to create the time lapse using a longer video. So you can right click and select the import once again. And this time just import the video. So in this case, I have shot this video. I'm going to open this up. And this would be the, this is the video which I have shot. I would right click and select new sequence from the clip. And you can see, let me just delete its audio because we don't want the audio. And you can see this is the time lapse which I have shot with the video. So you can do, you can con press Control R or Command R to have the option or have the access to the speed option. 
and you can either increase these fees from here to let's say thousand percent or you can change this duration so that's the second duration so if i you want it to be five seconds so just type zero five and these are the frames so the first first time is for the frame and then is for the second and then it's for the minute and then it's for the hour all right so you want it to be of five seconds just select this one and from this time interpolation just stay, change it to frame sampling to frame blending and that way we will get the better result and then after press ok so after doing this you can see our sequence is now of 5 seconds and if we just play it you can see this is how the sequence or the time lapse looks because there is a less motion in this particular example so that's why you don't see much of the much of this going on Now let's add one more thing to make it look more amazing. So once you have color graded, just go to the effects control. Just go to the effects control and from here, first scale this up to let's say around 130%. Let's make it 130% and click on this keyframe to create a keyframe in the beginning of the timeline. Make sure you had your uh, Playhead is on the beginning of the clip and then let's move your playhead to the end of the clip and then go back to the scales and this time just press this reset button so that's going to scale it to back to 100% alright and you can see we have got two keyframes one is this one and one is this one so we'll just click and draw rectangle around these two keyframes so that's going to select both of these and then we'll right click and select auto bezier all right and if we just play this time lapse now you will see the result wow isn't this amazing you can see so this is how we can add more motion to the time lapse which has the less motion all right now let's copy this motion Let's right click and select copy and go back to the time list which we have created this one. All right. And we are going to select the motion and we'll paste this over here. So now if you just play this out. This is how it looks. So let me show you the full screen. And thereafter, if you want to color grade it, just go to the elementary colors and basic colors. If it is not shown over here, go to the windows and select the elementary colors. Check this one and that way it would be available over here. So now let's adjust its temperature or you can use any LUT if you want. So let's make it a little warm because it's a sunrise time and increase the tint from here. To the orange side and let's bring down the exposure increase the contrast maybe something like this lower down the highlights and increase or just lower down the shadows increase the whites and lower down the black add more black so if you drag it to the left side it's going to add lots of black and if you want to have a more control over it just click on this and select the elementary scopes so that's the exposure you can see right over here and then let's go to the curves and let's create a slight s curve so that would boost the colors and contrast and before that let's go back to the basic correction and increase the saturation to 24 20 30 because i have showed this in s log and let's increase the contrast even further okay and let's add a little bit warmth or the warmth from here from the temperature side maybe something like this and let's increase the black even further and in the curves let's add more contrast something like this all right and here it's the final result
So this is how you can create the time lapse in Premiere Pro. And you can just copy the color grading of this. Just go to the effects control and select the geometric colors. Right click and select copy. And then go back to the previous time lapse which we have created out of images. So just select this one and press Ctrl V or Command V to paste this color grading right over here. So select this and press Ctrl V Command V and we have now the same color grading and we don't have to do that again and again. So this is how our time lapse looks with the images because if you have the images it's going to look more more amazing. So let me show you full screen. So this is from the beginning. So this is the time lapse and it just looks amazing. And now let's see this one. Let me show you full screen. This is made out of a video. Only clouds are moving. There is only motion and that is the clouds. So this is how you can create the amazing time lapse. So these are the techniques which you can use.